I've done several repair videos on my 2003 Honda Pilot, and I still love the car, but it's pretty irritating when the AC quits in the middle of summer. So specifically for me, the front vents were not blowing any air. This seemed a lot like a problem I had a few years ago when the second row vents weren't blowing, and that turned out to be a power transistor for the blower. Thanks to the wisdom of the internet, I found out that the same problem is likely to occur for the front blower. And more thanks to a great YouTuber like uh, Red Quasar, I knew exactly where to look for this new uh, front power transistor, and even better, how I might fix it. However, I don't do videos that have already been covered, so today I'll cover a specific twist that I had while tackling this in case someone else trips over the same problem. First things first, if you have this problem now, you should probably go watch Red Quasar's video on getting this power transistor out. As for my contribution, let's look at the schematic. Here you see the front blower motor and below it the power transistor that controls it. You can see that the mo motor is connected directly to 12 volts through the relay and the fuses. And the transistor is the switch that controls its connection to ground to complete the circuit. I didn't get a scope out to check it, but usually the way a motor's speed is controlled this way is by something called pulse width modulation, or PWM. The transistor is turned on and off fairly quickly, faster than you'll notice. But if it's turned on for longer stretches or pulses of time, the motor goes faster. And if the pulses are shorter, so that the motor isn't on as long, the motor will slow down. This is referred to as the duty cycle of the pulse. This transistor controls the speed of your blower motor, and as a red quasar found out, the tr transistor isn't the problem uh, component here. In fact, it's a component that doesn't even show up on the schematic. For safety, the designer put in something called a thermal fuse, and as the name suggests, if the component gets too hot, the fuse blows and things stop working. So if you've been over to Red Quasar's video, you'll recognize that this is the circuit and its massive heatsink. So this thing clearly dissipates a lot of heat. And this thing right here is the thermal fuse. Just as Red Quasar did, I determined that the thermal fuse was bad. It doesn't conduct and replaced it. But when I reinstalled everything, the blower motor turned on full and wouldn't turn off even if I turned off the AC. Okay, so what's going on? Well, I think it bo all boils down to my thermal fuses that I used. You can see here that the power transistor is mounted tightly to the heatsink, and so is the thermal fuse. This makes sense because the fuse will blow if the transistor transfers too much heat to the heatsink. However, for some reason, my thermal fuses have the body of the fuse connected directly to the leads. So here you can see that I'm checking the connectivity and the body of the fuse is connected directly to those leads. The power transistor does kind of the same thing in that the body of the transistor, which is connected to the heatsink, is directly connected to the drain pin. So what we have here then is the transistor drain pin connected to the heatsink, which is connected to the thermal fuse, which is connected to the gate pin of the transistor. Or in other words, we shorted the drain and gate pins of the transistor together which turns the transistor on and thereby turns on the blower. So I must confess my solution to this is kind of crappy. I just put some what's called capped on tape underneath the thermal fuse so it wouldn't electrically connect with the heatsink. It'll conduct thermally at least a bit, but of course not as much as if there was a, a direct connection. Regardless, I'm back to being happy with my AC and my Honda Pilot. 